Hello everybody, this is Dan James back here again. And I'm going to be showing you how to use VM Player. Yay, VM Player. That's my attempt at drawing the VM VMware uh, logo. Alright, that was a fail. Alright. So I will show you how to open it and an image. And if you didn't already make one, or if one is already not made, you say you have like Windows 7 or Windows XP, the uh, the disk from way back then, and whatnot. And you're like, oh, how do I do it with this? I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so if you already have one, so if you already had one, say this, you want to click on this image. Look at this. It looks like little windows over each other. Don't click on this or like that. That's that's the actual hard drive, the virtual disk, and then that's just all other stuff. So you want to double click on this. All right, all right. For me, it opens up in VM VMware Workstation, which that is not a free program. Uh, but say you say it's opening up or it's not opening up with a VMware Player. What you want to do is right click it, go to Open with and then VMware Workstation. If you do not see that on here, or sorry, VMware Player, choose Default Program, go to Others, and click one of these. Um, if you don't see it here, you might want to do Browse and then just go to where you um, installed it at and open up the .exe file and click on that. So, um, just right click, for me, I'm just going to leave it there, leave the default to workstation. Alright, so it's opening up right now. Software. Okay. Um, if it does this at all, which it most likely will, just say, if you read this right here, if you don't know, just press it. I copied it. Alright, I don't want to load that up, so I'll just close it. Uh, let's see here. So say you don't have one. So you go here, I'll show you how to make it. Do create new virtual machine. Um, if you have a disk, you can do the disk and then just go from there. If not, uh, I'm going to do disk image file. Let's see here. Uh, master. Uh, actually, let me look for dot ISO file. Alright, so say I have a .iso file, let me, I'll just, mm, I'll just do this, that's not, no, what, okay, whatever, just, that's not even, that is a .iso file, that's not even operating system though, Linux, Linux is what that actual thing is not, alright, so it'll give you Microsoft Windows, Linux, whatever, whatever, Mac OS, you won't see that on yours. I cracked mine, so I could virtualize it if I wanted to. And then just come back here, pick which one it is. Very important that you actually pick which which one it is so it knows how to run it and whatnot. Linux, what distribution of Linux it is. Other, just what kind of other it is. So I'm going to say Ubuntu right now. The name, the location. All right, how big you want it. All right, it depends on which one it is. It depends on how much size you have. Um, for all of them, the basic, the basic, about space for about any, is at least ten. Ten will be enough for. Um, or the just the basic hardware and software and just just like the the very basic plus it'll give you a little bit of room like a gigabyte at the most maybe so for uh, extra space but you that that's running really low if you can't and you can just put in an external hard drive if you want to too or want to also uh, you can just leave it like that there and then blah 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 do all that looks that looks good. 
customize hardware about a gig depending on how much you have mine I have 16 16 gigs so I can do however much I want now this is big it depends if it's 32 bit or 64 bit 32 bit means uh, it can not read the actual operating system cannot read over anything more than four gigabytes and that's the same exact thing for uh, for any 32-bit um, operating system 64-bit means it can read up to like something crazy like you, you won't even need to worry about it you won't even have it's not physically possible yet to have that much um, RAM into one computer yet number of cores I have eight one should do just fine one two if you're actually gonna do anything on it one would be fine one's a minimum if you want smooth do two if you can do up to four if you're using a good computer everything else should be fine network adapter uh, that, that's uh, that should be a NAT host only means it's only on this co physical computer it cannot go outside the actual internet so you can't like open up web pages because it's only on this computer bridge just means you uh, go to your physical network and you, that should uh, should be everything else uh, I'm not gonna make that because that's not even an actual operating system that I just made in there but um yep that's how you run it uh, if I run it up I don't even know the password for it but uh, if I play it just click play and that's it so I hope you guys learned something today I hope you or I hope you uh, learn VMware player um, also just a little more virtual machine just go to power you can play but uh, a little disclaimer if I teach you anything Whatever you learn here, use it for good. It's for educational purposes only. I'm not showing you, if I ever show you anything that could be used for bad or hacking or black hatting or anything like that at all, then it's for educational purposes only and I don't recommend it unless uh, that is your job, legitimate job as like a penetration tester or is specified in the competition to do such um, black hatting of any matter so remember you have to be responsible and you can't go around doing um hacking people's computers or anything unless you have permission physical written permission by them so you remember that you can hack your own computers and your own wi-fi network or you can set up a virtual machine and then run another virtual machine and like backtrack five and then uh just go and attack that, say, like Windows 2000 Server 3 or XP that's unpatched and whatnot, and uh, practice that way. But you uh, should be careful. Be careful. All right. And that's all I have to say. So I hope you guys learned something today, and have a good day.